Hello, my friends, and welcome to Your Adventure Compass. If you're new here, my name is Ed, and I do different videos on places to go, things to check out, and sometimes I do food videos like today. Today, we are in Sterling Heights, Michigan, to check out Jollibee. It's the first one in our area here in Michigan, and it is a Philippine-owned company. They have chicken and a bunch of unique dishes. We're gonna check them out today. I've got uh, my daughter with me. We're gonna try a few different things, probably share a few things, and some of it's gonna be going home because there's no way we're gonna be able to finish all the food that we're gonna order. But uh, come along with us for this fun adventure. And right here is the front of the restaurant. And we can see they have a Jolly Bee standing outside right here in front of the restaurant. It's kinda cool. It's definitely a jolly looking bee. Got some antennas up there. All right, just stepped inside and you can see they've got a pretty good size menu here. We'll take a look. All right, well, here is the menu at Jolly Bee. They are known for chicken. They do have uh, several other unique items as well. They have a peach mango pie and a pineapple quencher drink. And they also have a spaghetti, which I've heard is uh, rather interesting. We're gonna try that out as well. So uh, we'll give, give these items a shot here and see what we like, see what we don't. Also, I think the uh, last food video that we did was the chicken guy over in Livonia. And I had been there before. I've never been to a Jollibee, so I'm looking forward to this. All right, well, we ordered a little bit of everything on the menu. We got the spicy chicken sandwich. Got a three-piece chicken with some biscuits and adobo rice and some mac and cheese. We also got the pineapple juice punchers, burger steaks and jolly spaghetti and a peach mango pie. And it looks like our order is up. Well, guys, this is what we got right here. This is what we're working with. Looks like we've got our chicken here and our biscuit. We've got our pineapple quencher right here. I believe this is uh, some extra gravy and I think that goes along with this here. I'm not sure, I thought that was supposed to come with rice. I may have to ask about that. Um, right here, this is our, I think that's our jolly spaghetti, yep. We've got mac and cheese here, some adobo rice that was a side with one of our orders. We've got the uh, crispy fries, spicy chicken sandwich deluxe, and a peach mango pie. Now let's give this a shot and see how it all tastes. All right guys, I've switched over to my other camera in order to get the image up a little bit higher. Uh, we're gonna try out the pineapple cruncher first, see how this is. Well, that's very good. Kind of tastes a lot just like pineapple juice, but a little bit, there's something there that's different, but it's very fresh tasting, really good. Highly recommend getting this if you come. So next up, spicy deluxe chicken sandwich. And uh, we're gonna cut into this real quick and give it a shot, see how this is. All right, here's our spicy deluxe chicken sandwich. See, it looks uh, looks like it's pretty juicy. I can see some some juice glistening there. Got some uh, spicy mayo, I think, on there. Let's try it out. That's a very good sandwich. Very good. If you've had um, Chick-fil-A or something like that before, this is easily, easily right up there with Chick-fil-A. Very good, very good sandwich. Um, might even be better. All right, guys, next up, we've got our chicken here. It looks delicious. Let me try this out. All right, so we've got a piece of our chicken here and uh, looks like the breading is really good on here. The batter. Very juicy. Mm. Really good. And oh yeah. You can see that chicken is just really juicy inside. I 
That was very good. I think I like that better than KFC. Back. I definitely like that better than KFC. All right, well, the chicken was delicious. Next up is the adobo rice. We're going to try this out, see how this is. It's a very big piece. It's very uh, plumped together, but it smells good. It's different. It's actually pretty good, though. Not, not quite sure what all the seasonings are in here. Pretty tasty. All right, next, try out this baked mac and cheese. Looks pretty good, actually. I, I don't know. There's a big clump of cheese melted on the top. So this, this could end up being really surprisingly good. Just look at that. Okay, that, that's some good mac and cheese. Kind of tastes like something you'd make at home and not something you'd get from a fast food place. But it's, uh, it's definitely baked in. You can tell that the, uh, the cheese is baked in. There's some areas where it's more baked than others, but it is really good. All right, now I also ordered the two burger patties with gravy and mushrooms. And I thought that these came with rice, but apparently that is not the case. You can get rice as one of your sides. And had I known that, I would have ordered rice, but I didn't. So we're gonna use our adobo rice to uh, soak up some of that gravy. All right, got some of that burger patty and a mushroom. Let me try that out first. Kind of reminds me of, uh, like the frozen meals, the Salisbury steak, but, but with a huge exception here, the burger patty is definitely a much higher quality than those frozen meals. Um, picture that similar flavor. Actually, when I say similar, this is much better, but still kind of the same as those Salisbury steak dinners. And uh, with a much higher quality beef, and even the sauce is actually better. Pretty good. It's kind of an odd dish to have at a chicken place, but it does make sense because it's probably fairly low carb. I mean, yeah, the gravy has probably got some carbs in it, but probably not too bad. All right, guys, now we're moving on to the last item. I, I know a lot of people are probably interested in this. Uh, it's a chicken place that has spaghetti, which is kind of weird. I've been told that this is a very uh, sweet style spaghetti. And uh, another thing that I should point out about this, if I can get one out of here, there are little tiny slices of hot dog in the spaghetti. That's right, hot dog. So let's give this a shot. And uh, hopefully, hopefully I like it. We'll see. It's, uh, I've never had sweet spaghetti, so we'll see. Wow, that's different. I don't even know if I'd really classify that as spaghetti. It's um, it's different. The sauce doesn't really taste like your traditional spaghetti sauce. I, I'm not quite sure how to describe it. It's uh, it's sweet, but not like full of spices, and I don't taste any garlic or anything like that. It's almost like a it's not as sweet as a barbecue sauce and it doesn't have any smokiness or anything, but if I could compare it to something, I think that would be probably the closest thing that I could compare it to is it's kind of like a barbecue sauce without the barbecue flavor, if that makes sense. It 
it's different. So another thing I forgot to mention, guys, with all the different unique things that we tried, I forgot to mention the fries, which my daughter's eaten a few of these already. Um, they're, they're just average fast food fries. They don't taste any anything different from what you'd expect a French fry to taste like. I think they called them crispy fries, but you know, they're no different than your standard fast food fry. One other thing I forgot to mention is the biscuits. Um, didn't really get to try this yet. It came with the chicken. My, uh, my daughter took half of it. I'm gonna take a bite now and see what it tastes like. Kind of your average biscuit, very, very similar to what you get at KFC. Maybe a little more buttery tasting, but they're good. All right, guys, and finally, we are on to dessert. The last item, the one that we've kind of been looking forward to, the peach mango pie. And from what I've seen in the videos, oh, 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 oh. guys, do you remember long, long ago, McDonald's used to have pies that were actually good. And uh, at some point in time, they stopped serving them because they, they switched it up and went to like something more like a traditional pie crust instead of what was originally their design. This is the old style stuff here. The super crispy fried crust. I have a feeling I'm going back to get another one of these, but, but we'll see. Try and uh, break this open. I don't know if you guys can uh, hear that. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, this looks amazing. Oh. Most definitely going back for another one of these. This is excellent. Mm. This is worth coming here just for this. Incredible. Um, 11 out of 10 stars. That good. <laughs> like, you need to find a Jollibee and go get one of these. It's amazing. Oh my God. So good. Well, my daughter and I just talked about it. We think probably the, as far as the food goes, the chicken's probably the best. I don't know if it was chicken sandwich or the actual fried chicken. They were both really good. Um, then we think the mac and cheese was probably the best side item that they had. The uh, spaghetti, the Jolly Spaghetti, probably came in next. Then the adobo rice. And then finally the, uh, the, the beef patties. I liked them, she didn't like them. Um, I know it's not for everybody, so you know it may not be your cup of tea, but it's probably a good low carb option if you are looking for something like that, especially if you don't get the rice and you get something that's a little healthier. Might be a good way to go. We did both agree that the fries are definitely at the bottom. They were just your average run of the mill fast food fries. Uh, as far as everything else goes, the pineapple puncher is the bomb. These are awesome. Get one. And that peach mango pie is the absolute winner here. If you are near Jollibee, you gotta come in and get one of those and one of these, they're awesome. Well guys, our food adventure here at Jollibee in Sterling Heights, Michigan has ended, but that's not the end of the video. I wanna talk to you guys a little bit more in a few minutes. But first I wanna let you guys know my thoughts on Jollibee. I'm, it's a welcome addition here in Michigan. I have heard about them. I've seen videos from other vloggers and other people have commented on Jollibee and it does live up to the hype. It's a great addition for fast food. Their chicken is better than KFC as far as I'm concerned. It's a good alternative to Chick-fil-A if you're looking for a good chicken sandwich, it's very good. So I highly recommend it. Now let's head over to a different area where we can talk a little bit more. All right, guys. Well, I quickly came over to this outdoor mall because I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been going on with the channel. I know it's been a while since I put out a video and I do have a lot of videos that are forthcoming that have to be edited. And if you've been watching my channel for a long time, 
you may remember that last year, around this time, I put out a video explaining what was going on and what my future plans were and things like that. And I embarked on a little business venture and that has been very lucrative for me. It has also kept me very, very busy. Now I don't have any plans to end this channel or change any of that. That's all going to remain the same. It just limits how much time I have for putting out these videos and what I can do and when I can do it. And this happens to be that busy time of the year and I'll be heading back out to Vegas. So there are some Vegas videos coming and if there's something that you guys would like to see while I'm there, let me know. I'm gonna do a whole strip review this time. I did half last year and unfortunately I didn't finish it. I didn't feel like putting out half of the strip. So I have all that video footage archived. I am going to put out a full video of the strip when I get back, I'll do the other half this time around and we'll have the whole thing. It was very limited on my free time when I was there. So that's coming. I do have a segment on various vacation spots that you need to check out. Some awesome places to go. Uh, so if you're looking to make some vacation plans, I've got a few videos on that coming as well. And I wanna know what you guys wanna see this year. Uh, let me know what you guys are interested in seeing, places, states, cities, things to do, different types of events, let me know. Leave a note in the comments. Also, the channel is at about 2,700 subscribers at this point. I would love to see 3,000. Guys, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. It really helps me out. I am hoping to get to that 3,000 mark. It does help me because it allows me to do bigger and better things and bring those videos to you guys, which I enjoy doing, and I hope you guys enjoy watching the videos. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to click on that compass so you can stay subscribed to future videos just like this one. And remember, adventure is just a short drive away.